From a distance, one can mistake this house for just a rental house. But to George, this is his office where he carries on his daily activities. Early in the morning, George is busy preparing his office so as to kick off. Ever since he was at his tender age, George has been engaging himself in artistic work, something that he loves doing most. I started drawing like when I was in class one. Um, I used to, we used to be given assignments to go and draw um, from sound and read and, you know, draw buses and cars, cats and my drawings are always the best in class. So. I was always encouraged that it came up from that all the way. I went ahead to ask him what was the reason behind him making his house to be an office. Mostly working here actually. I used to stay here and I'll uh, do my work and then you know I started getting more uh, commissions and from that you know I saw that it was was better if, you know sometimes I have I wanted to do uh, bigger works you know that means I needed a bigger space, so that's why I decided to come in, to take this place and uh, use it as my studio. As artistic work requires a specific intent, George tells us about his sources of information. Well, it depends with the inspiration. Uh, okay, sometimes I may be commissioned by a client who wants some work, maybe uh, a portrait or, or something else, and sometimes. Uh, you know, sometimes I get ideas um, when I paint or when I, when I draw something. He tells us about the equipment he uses while doing his artwork. You know, most people think that, you know, in, in art or to make something, you need to have a lot of things, um, expensive, you know, uh, uh, tools. But I, I, don't, I don't think that that's the case. It really calls for hard work, as George tells us in Beach to get the best. Uh, actually, this was a painting I did um, earlier, um, some time ago, and then I decided to change it into a, a drawing board. So uh, the materials that I use, uh, I have a, a scratch pencil, um, I have a, a 2H pencil, and a 6B, and the scratch pencil is actually um, a HB. And then uh, I use, you know, just a rubber, uh, an E-double eraser, it's like, it, looks, it looks like plasticine, yeah, and, uh, and paper, and good to go. He urges parents to motivate and encourage children who have interest in artwork. My parents have supported me since I was, I was little. Uh, they've always been there for me. Um, whenever I need the materials, the they they provide, and uh, yeah, I, th I think most most parents should encourage their children to go into art. I think it's a it's a growing industry with, and it has you know a big bigger potential. And despite George being a visual artist, he's also a musician. A move that young people should partake to be a challenge to them. I should be. Where I should be I fear I don't feel a thing anymore George is able to make a living as an artist as well as a musician though he's still a student and taking Bachelor of Arts in Kenyatta University. He as well has future plans concerning his industry. I want to exhibit my work in a a good gallery uh, yeah probably in Kenya or in any other country it takes more than creativity to succeed in the arts business but despite all this most young people are still venturing into the arts business in the country and this is giving hope to the arts center worldwide reporting for Abril TV I'm Jerry Njogu